Tonight, a transgender woman originally arrested for attempted second degree murder is out on bail after the charge against her was downgraded to felony assault. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Curtis. I'm Rachel Cole. The woman is accused of spraying the alleged victims with bear spray and then pulling out a knife. But her attorney says all of this was in self-defense. Joe Dana is in Flagstaff tonight with more. Supporters of Rose say they believe her version of events, that she was physically threatened before she acted. The problem for Rose is the only independent witness to all of this only saw part of the incident and tells police she did not see Rose being threatened. I'm proud of her that she didn't let nobody hurt her. Friends and supporters protested outside of Coconino Superior Court Monday. Trans lives matter! Trans lives matter! Her legal name is Leland Wesson. She goes by Epona Rose. Friends say she travels often like sushi and punk rock and that she's more likely to help a stranger than hurt one. During Monday's court hearing, the prosecution and the judge overseeing the case agreed to refer to her by her preferred name moving forward. Rose's transgender identity is relevant to the case because she claims she came upon a group of men at this Flagstaff Square who harassed her because of the way she looked. According to Rose, two of the men took an aggressive stance towards her, so she sprayed them with bear mace and put one of the men in a chokehold. One of the men told police, she said, you will die today while holding a knife against his throat. He grabbed the blade of the knife with his left hand and suffered a deep cut. During the incident, Rose suffered a cut on her nose. Both men told police Rose was the instigator. The lone independent witness says she saw arguing and watched Rose use bear spray, but did not see anything else. Attorney Ryan Stevens represents the defendant. She was definitely not looking for trouble that night, um, but when circumstances happen um, and a person is in danger, of course, there's going to be cross references to who started what, who initiated what, who initiated physical contact, who initiated any, any sort of transphobic remarks. The man who was cut received 15 stitches. One officer wrote because of conflicting stories, the two men were not charged with a crime. Who keeps us safe? We we keep us safe. safe. During a time of elevated debate over transgender rights and treatment, this case has struck a nerve in the community. If a, if a cis woman were pepper sprayed, a group of drunk men harassing her, I don't believe for a second it would have gotten this far in prosecution. I recognize that my client comes from a unique set of circumstances and a unique background. And those circumstances in that background may have played into the case itself factually. A nonprofit out of Tucson that supports indigenous and marginalized people has put up the money for Rose's bond. She has been ordered to remain in Arizona until her next court appearance in October. Joe Dana, 12 News.